Okay, hello. welcome to a little tutorial about um, how to get the digital files for uh, your mini cam, which will help you do your final cam as well. So we're going to go to maker makercase.com. You've seen this before. Select basic box. Um, you can use two finger swipe to zoom in and out. And if you hold shift, shift, you can kind of rotate the box. It's very clumsy though. So on millimeters, we're going to type in 50, 50, 50 for five centimeter by five centimeter by five centimeter. And there's the box in front of us. You have inside and outside dimensions. So it's important sometimes to know how big the inside of your box is in case you want to fit something into it. Um, but outside goes from the outside wall to the other outside wall. So that's going to be fine for us. Um, you have some material thicknesses. We're going to use three millimeter plywood, but you can also custom put in uh, different sizes. But we're going to use three millimeters, and that's important uh, in a little bit here. Do you want an open box or closed box? We're going to use an open box, and we are going to uh, rotate it onto its side. So the top of the box is going to become the front where you can see the cam. Then here you have uh, flat joints or finger joints. Flat are just like this where the pieces are going to fit together. We're going to use finger joints because they're easier to assemble. And you can change the number of finger joints because the box is so small. Just one or two is good. It doesn't matter. Um, but here you can see what happens if you don't have the right material thickness. This is nine millimeter uh, uh, material. You can see the finger joint is nine millimeters. So that's why you need to make sure that you have the right material thickness um, before exporting this. So you come down here and you click on download box plans. You have a couple of choices here before we actually download the SVG, which we're going to open in Illustrator. You can disable the uh, panel uh, labels. Um, this might be important if you need to know where the top, front, and bottom is going to be, but we're going to disable them. and. Other than that, you can combine them, save a little time on laser cutting, but we're going to just keep them separate for now. Uh, download the SVG. It downloads this box. Obviously, I have a couple of different uh, boxes downloaded. I'm going to open it up in Illustrator. First thing you notice is the artboard is the size of this um, uh, file. I'm going to go to document setup. I'm going to turn pixels to let's turn to millimeters, and then I'm going to edit the artboard. And I'm just going to turn this to the size of the laser cutting wood, which would be 600 millimeters by 450 millimeters. Or a good thing to know that you can just type in 60 cm, and it'll automatically uh, translate that. Even actually, it's 24 inches by. 18 inches. It'll give you the exact measurement. Anyways, I digress. Let's pull this up into the corner. So I selected it all and put them in the corner. I'm going to zoom in. Uh, first thing we need to do is we need to place um, some holes for the axle that holds the cam and then uh, one on the top for the uh, follower that will hold the character that you're going to design. So make sure you're um, under view, make sure your smart guides are on. Also under window, make sure your control bar is on and make sure your toolbar is on advanced. Then grab the ellipse tool. Um, hold shift to make a perfect circle. You don't want one of these wonky ones. And oops. I'm just going to draw one and over here. I'm going to make sure that this is locked and I'm going to type in Um, for the holes, it's a five millimeter dowel, but we're going to make the holes seven millimeters so they can spin in it very easily. So seven millimeters, it automatically makes a perfect circle. And I'm going to drag this up here and I'm going to look for the center. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Center. Perfect. And then I'm going to zoom out a little bit and I'm going to copy paste. And I'm just going to intersect, I think that's the center. There you go. 
And then I'm going to create another hole for the top. And according to this, it's a three millimeter dowel. The hole needs to be four millimeters. So I'm going to draw another circle. Draw, oh, hold shift. And make it four millimeters. And this one also needs to line up in the center. And it should be. Yeah. Okay. About right there. All right, so then we're going to create some uh, circles. They're going to be uh, 25 millimeters, I think. Yeah. And then we're going to have a circle in the middle of it that will be for the stoppers. Oh, those are kind of big. Oh, well, they're fine. Okay. So in order to make those, we're going to draw another circle. Here, I'm just going to point this out oh, on the side. <coughs> so um, on the circles are about uh, 25 millimeters, and the circle in the middle is going to be 4.7 millimeters. So it's actually smaller than the dowel, and that'll allow it, you to push it on, and it sticks. And uh, even without glue, it should be pretty secure. You know, once you've got one of those, copy and paste them and place them in this area. Then we're going to do the two other bits, uh, which will be done in acrylic, so they, they uh, are smoother. We have the cam follower and the cam itself. And they can be 2.5 millimeters and 2.5. 25 millimeters and 25 millimeters. The hole for the follower is going to be making this difficult document setup. Let's turn this to millimeters. Um, this is going to be fit too as well. So the three millimeter dowel will push into that and it will stick pretty good. So 25, uh, 2.5 millimeters. And then this one also, just like these, will be. 4.7 millimeters. Uh, all these, all this information will be on this, uh, on this slide here. Once this is done, you want to save as. Um, put your name, Minicam. Um, it's good to save it as an AI so that you can open it up and, and edit it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK. Um, but you could also save as an SVG, and that's the file that we would use on the laser cutter itself. Okay? All right, thank you.